In August 2002, after 11 years of civil war, Sierra Leone sent its biggest team of athletes to the Commonwealth Games in Manchester. At the end of the Games, they had won no medals, and 21 of the 23 athletes remained illegally in England. Their disappearance was a national disgrace. Sierra Leone is the poorest country on earth. Young athletes here dream of sporting success to lift them out of a life of poverty. They have less than two years to achieve their dreams and restore national pride at the Olympic Games in Athens. After the fiasco of the Commonwealth Games in Manchester, I decided that, well, maybe it's time I, I try and uh, do something myself, see what, maybe, if I can help out. Sarah, bring it up. Bring it up, Sarah, bring it up. Sarah, make mind. Sarah, Sarah, come on, you must don them. A small pin for glory. Lift your knee up, lift your knees up. Lift them up, you know they come up. Lift them up. Sanusi Toure, a former Olympic sprinter, has returned home to train a new generation of athletes to reach Olympic standards. Jack Roger, the IOC president, has said that anyone who does not make the, the Olympic qualifying can no longer go to the Olympics. So now our athletes, as I tell them, you have to take this sport seriously. Up, up, don't go past me. You should be proud to put on this, uh, a national your national colors. And that means you have to sweat in order to put those national colors on. So I hope you know the, 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 the federations here will make sure that everyone who is in the team deserves to be in that team. That means that person has trained, has achieved certain standards before they leave here. 18-year-old Daddy Ali is Sanusi's most promising male athlete. Much better, Daddy Ali, much better. See, that one he ran extremely well. He is stronger than all of them. After 40 meters, that's when he'll separate himself from everybody else. I still believe he'll win the 100 meters and the two. I hope to qualify because I'm training for the two games, both Olympic and African Championships. So I believe that I can qualify. And I hope that I'll be coming back with medal. That's it, Sarah, come on! Run! 19-year-old Sarah, Sarah on, is Sanusi's best female hope the for the Olympics. The very good, very good. 25, 25 seconds. They show immense power. My dreams, to go to the uh, Olympic Games to win a medal. Where we make my life to be improved. I will become a star. I will have more zeal to train out to become a star for, for Sierra Leone. We have a, a range of talented people, it's just that they've not been developed. And that's one of the reasons why I, I, I believe I really got involved in this, because I think that we have a lot of talented people. They just need help. No, you left hand, left to right. That's how you can run. Eh? Sanusi's runners have a brand new track to train on. During the war, the National Stadium in Freetown was used as a haven for refugees fleeing the fighting. It has since been rebuilt with the help of the Chinese. Most other athletes have more basic facilities. Let's 
Time out. Sierra comes from Kono, a diamond mining region where fighting during the war was at its bloodiest. Those rebels, they, they destroyed the place, so the place is changed. The place was so nice, so beautiful. People were loving to live there. Before the war, here yeah, my mother, they were staying before. But since the rebels came to the country, they come and destroy the place. But when these wicked people came, I mean, I mean, this was one of the areas where they were concentrating more. So after that, when they knew that uh, the government troops were coming, so everything that was in here, they, they, they made me with it. So, but luckily, they could not burn this because they were dwelling here. Why the other houses they, they burn them down? You didn't inside this picture. What inside this picture? Look at the one that actually uh, called my younger sister Betty. Oh. If Sarah is successful in her athletics career, she could make enough money to help her family rebuild their lives. If I went to the Olympic and then I have money. I will be able to take care of my family. You know that to have a job in this particular country is not easy. So the only way that I, that I can find a job for myself is to do athletics. It's your own life career. I, athletics will make me become a successful person in the world because now I've devoted all my time, all my knowledge is in athletics. You know, the few times that I have, after training, then, then get back home, then rest. I know that in the evening, go back for class, after class, then came back home and rest and prepare myself for training early in the morning. So I believe that through athletics, I can change up my lifestyle. Training at the stadium for Daddy Ali means a two-hour daily journey from his home in the east of Freetown. You know, life is too difficult in this country because the type of food that we're expecting to have we cannot have them, so if I went to the Olympic the Games and then I have money for myself, I will know what type of food and food that I will eat, or the type of meal that I need for, the, for training. Like most of the athletes, Daddy Ali lives on one meal a day and is lucky to eat meat once a week. She's my grandma. She brought me up. See, that's why I love my gym all. <laughs> Some of the rebels made a base here, also here, and even we are, where we are sitting right now, there's a base of a rebel. And they get rid of me, you know, punish me, beat me up for some weeks, you know, in front of me, they destroy lives of innocent people. Some of my friends, they cut some of their hands, kill some of them. I'm not part and parcel of them, you know. They will get rid of me and they hurt me. I want to be part and parcel of us. And I say yes because I do not want to lose my life. It's why I decided to be part and parcel of them for some weeks. And I find my way off. Not you turn off or touch ground. See my own? It's 18 months to the Olympic Games in Athens and Sanusi is organizing Sierra Leone's first ever professional athletics championships. A local mobile phone company is putting up the sponsorship money, so athletes are now competing for cash prizes. Saturday is important because it's the first time in the history of Sierra Leone that athletics is being organized. There's a lot of prize money for the athletes. The magnitude of this competition has a far-reaching effect in terms of how well they will, they will prepare. For example, the World Championships and the African Games. And then maybe if any of them runs pretty decently, then they can get into uh, competitions in Europe. And they get used to running against these big names. 
So that fear factor doesn't come into them anymore because they're used to it. Hoping to make the championships a major national event, Sanusi has invited the president of Sierra Leone and brought in seating in his honor. I've run in the world championships, indoor and outdoor, Commonwealth Games, Olympic Games, African Championships, uh, African Unity Games, Japanese Championships, British Championships, uh, Grand Prix events. I ran in the World Cup for Africa in 92, which I think today, to date is my uh, greatest achievement, having been able to uh, represent Africa. I just want to go cut me hair and collect me clothes and come straight back here. OK. Sanusi trained abroad to achieve the success he now wants for his athletes back home. He has returned with new coaching techniques that are a challenge for the Sierra Leone Athletics Association. What I came was revolutionary, I'm like a rebel. And I just told him that, look, what you're doing, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. Now, it's all well and good if I just say that and sit back. Instead of just telling them what's wrong, let me try and show them what they've been doing wrong. Some people have not been too happy with it and have tried to tell everything that I've done. People have said all sorts of things, that my money is drug money, that I'm a fraudster, I'm out to exploit the kids, that I'm selling the athletes, I'm buying the athletes. I've even been accused of buying blood diamonds. Everything has been said about me. Just in order for people to discourage what I'm doing, I will not and cannot be deterred from my goal, which is to see that Sierra Leone athletics moves up a few notches and, you know, the athletes are better prepared for competitive uh, meetings around the world. The president doesn't show up. Athletics is not a priority in a country recovering from war. Set. Officials must use whistles to start the races. Starting guns are not used in Sierra Leone for fear of frightening an already traumatized population. Sierra Leone cannot afford an electronic timing device either. Eight timekeepers use stopwatches. Daddy Ali sprints ahead of his competitors with a hand timing of 10.8 seconds for the 100 meters. Half a second short of the Olympic qualifying time. But hand timings are meaningless. The International Olympic Committee will only accept electronic timings. But Daddy Ali, go rest now. Go, go put on your stuff. Get ready for the deuce, sir. Huh? Get ready for the deuce. I run, I run the fastest time. Go the fa for the finals. And I also won the final. I believe that I'm the champion. Sarah wins the 400 and 200 meters, proving that she is the best female runner in Sierra Leone. Sanusi's athletes, Daddy Ali and Sarah, are the only two picked for next month's World Athletics Championships in Paris. It will be their first international competition and their first chance to run against an electronic timer. Sitting at my uh, compound, I heard they are singing into this place. So I said, let me go and visit that area where, where they are keeping service. Since that time, I love to come to the church, yeah. 
I be part of the, the, the ministry now, so I thank God for that. <laughs> She has been one of our founding members in this ministry. And we are proud to have her in our midst because she's one of the fastest 100 and 200 meters runner in our land. And we are proud for her. We love her. And we have been praying for her. She's preparing for an Olympics competition next summer. And we believe that she is going to do something when she goes. And she is zealous for her career. And I believe she will do something in athletics. Thank you. In July, I'm going to France to go and compete. I want to come with a medal for my country. They told me that France is good, cool, it's nice. Yeah, it's a nice place. I'm happy to go there. I want to go and win medal. Exactly one year before the Olympics, the World Athletics Championships are about to start in Paris. Sunusi will not be here with his athletes. The Sierra Leone Athletics Association claims it cannot afford his fare. Waiting for them is Francis Dov Edwin, another former Sierra Leone Olympic sprinter, now based in the United States. My expectation for them is that first one, they're going to have a good experience. They're going to really see what athletics is about, what they've been reading and what they're doing. I mean, I expect them to do their best. You cannot do better than your best. It is my duty to assist these athletes. This is the essential reason why I'm here and I've got my telephone line established and I have everything open. It's Hotel Guinea. Okay, I need to speak to Bradman Ben Kakoka. Okay, tell him that uh, Dove Edwin, Chris Edwin. Yes, from Paris, call. I was trying to get a hold of the president of the Sierra Leone Athletics Association and I uh, was still trying to make uh, the visa arrangement so he should have been in the embassy today to get the visa and arrived here. Hopefully, I'm thinking tonight, he should be on the Sabina that is leaving tonight to be here in Paris this morning. Uh, he has the two athletes with them, Sarah and uh, Daria Lee. still waiting for the team and I'm, I'm hoping I'm still hoping that tomorrow they'll be here one of the most problematic countries in terms of traveling visa documentation there you are you heard it Yes, yet we don't know if they're in Guinea or if they are in Sierra Leone so how do you want to issue tickets for the moment we just don't know in which country they are this is what, day four, and I'm still looking for Sierra Leone. And do you have an idea if there's a late flight from Guinea? We're just still waiting, keeping our fingers crossed. Well, bad news. We don't think they're coming. Despite the efforts of the competition organizers, Dade Ali and Sarah never left Africa. The Sierra Leone flag is carried into the stadium at the opening ceremony, but there are no athletes behind it. It appears that the Sierra Leone officials had added the names of their friends and relatives to the list of visa applications. The French embassy refused them all. To this day, the whereabouts of the president of the Sierra Leone Athletics Association and $2,000 of expenses he was carrying remain a mystery.
we are in the French um, 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 embassy. And then they said that they want to see nine of us, only three of us are there. And then the bad man said that he did not have money at that particular time to communicate with the people that are in Britain for them to meet us in Conakry, including one, the, the, including the, 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 the daughter of the director of sports. He did not, she did not know anything about athletics. And then they said that she is going to represent the country. And then I said, Bradman, how, how, how can you do this to us? When we were in Paris and we were trying to find out what had happened and they rang the embassy, they said there were nine people down to get visas to go to Paris, including your daughter. No, that's not true. She wasn't down to get a visa? That is not true. So who was down to get a visa? I don't know. So it's, it's the association's business, not mine. So none of your family have ever traveled? No. So we don't happy. Every time the people are discovering, you know, even since last year, same thing they do to me. I was supposed to go to Manchester. They disappoint me. I don't go. Because of selfishness and greedy, because they don't want to see another people progress. They only want to see their, their own progress within them and their own family. We are supposed to be given visas. But there were other people on the list as well. Yes. Who were they? It's the, the president, mm -hmm. the acting secretary, the president of women in athletics, the coach, the two athletes, a press man, and then guests to the Congress, to the people that were to attend the Congress. And who were the guests? Pardon? Who were the guests? The guests? Yeah. It is... That the same mess up. Two Get two athletes, athletes two seven officials. Yeah. You know, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Go for go one. Ever since time, we have the first one. Yeah. Mr. Kamara, Mrs. Mrs. Red Lion, seven officials, two athletes. Why not they get them the proper? You cannot imagine two athletes going there to, 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 to compete, then you go with seven officials. You know what's wrong? 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 You know what's You know what's wrong? You know what's wrong? You know what's wrong? You know what's wrong? You know wrong? Because of their selfishness, these uh, boys, this uh, uh, daddy and Sarah, were trained so hard, didn't get to, you know, do what they love most, and that's compete. That's the country for you. Very wrong. But what can we do? You can't fight the whole system overnight. It's going to be a gradual process, you know, slowly but surely. We'll get there. <laughs> With three months to go to the next big international competition, the All-African Games in Nigeria, Sanusi steps up the pressure in training. Sarah's been giving them a tough time. Oh, I'm beating them. I've been beating them every time. To get on the get. All the time. All the time. You and Kinta. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Drive, come on. 31, 2, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
When this Mario attacked me, he said affected my performance. So I'm not happy about that. So I'm not happy when I'm suffering from that type of sickness. So I don't want to miss a single day of my training. Because as for any one day that you miss in training, it seems like it's one month that has gone in training. So I'm not happy when I'm suffering from that type of sickness. While Daddy Ali is away sick, a new athlete arrives at the track. Lamine has just returned to Sierra Leone from a refugee camp in Guinea and is challenging Daddy Ali as the fastest sprinter in the country. I love athletics. Nothing can change me. I'm strong and, and athletics is something which I've inherited from my parents. <laughs> This is where I used to live before the Rebe came in. When the Rebe came, they just shout, everybody in here come out, everybody in here come out. So, so all of us came out, they took our belongings from all what we have, our money and everything, they took it away and, and tied some of us, beat, beat us so they burned, they burned down the house. Let me show you where my room was. This was where my mother, and father used to live, and I was, I was in this, I was in this room. My father is not, is not living now. But when Rebe came, Rebe came then, they, they, they hold him with one of my uncle Safa by the name of Safa. They tie them up. He said, he said, I don't. It's something I don't. I wouldn't like to, to recall again. I don't. I don't even want to remember again. He said, now they kill them. He said, my. My own friends were among those who came, my father. My own friends who I used to work with. Because they used to come to our house, eat, we eat together, play together. I tried to suppress my feeling, but when I was talking to you, when I think of my father, tears run, tears run my eyes, but, but I pretend, I pretend for him not to notice. So I just like that. Sarah also has a new rival. Hawa is only 17 and trains on a dirt track at the edge of a refugee camp in the east of Freetown. I don't know more set for my but uh, if you give me money, I'll buy bread. You know, get money. Well, my heart is set. If you give me money, I'll buy bread. I'll buy bread. If you not ginger, I'll buy it. If I don't buy it, so. I see, see, well, not to every day that they cook, say. Not to every day, well, for pay. You know, easy, forget that money day. Any month, for pay 60,000. Not to every day, they strain, guys, and they show. I said, no, no, this spot, this two days, this bench, all they can make, all they want, if they give half money, I didn't make self for the very small eats. They tell all the fat be dinner. I tell them, they tell all the fat be dinner, Lungi. I can't be one can at all. Or I be the fat at Lungi, I be the fat at all. My mother did not at all. I can't be one can. For me, that time I be there, will be one and they will go to my back now. Now they still wait for her. I can't do that, and I didn't kind of kill her. Oh, if you were seeing them three days, you know, if you were seeing them a day to mama, see the other time, I don't call me ma. Oh, call her, and I didn't see one of which she reflects to the other time, and they want my most here. They don't. They didn't kill her. But my foot and foot, and then get belly. With less than two weeks to the competition in Nigeria, 
Daddy Ali, recovering from malaria, is back in training. It seems like they've all been playing around because they're pretty weak. They shouldn't be like that, especially at this point in time. It's useless. Daddy Ali is useless. Absolutely useless. He's stiff, he's tight, he's uncoordinated. He's useless, man. What do you say? I say that I'm not a useless what man. What are you? I'm not a useless man. <laughs> what are you? I'm not a useless man. I'm, I'm a useful man. <laughs> what are you? I'm useful to you. What are you? I'm a useful man. Are you man. useless or not? Are you I'm not stiff? stiff. I'm are not, you stiff? I'm not stiff. Huh? Are you stiff? Yeah, of course I'm okay. stiff. Are you but I'm not as... uncoordinated? No, I'm not uncoordinated. You okay. Do you have some flexibility? Can, are you flexible? Yeah, I'm flexible. Are you? <laughs> you, you know that I'm not, I'm not a useless man. If I'm a useless man, you not spend all the time there. You know that I have something inside me. Well, I was staying with one of my uncles in Porti. Yeah. From there, I, uh, I went to, uh, uh, to my friend. I was still with my friend. My friend's husband was giving me a problem. He wanted to love me. But I said that, no, I don't want him. So I explained to Samusi. Samusi said that he will give me a room to his place to come and stay for a moment. I started to see Musa. Inside the week, uh, maybe two or three times I see him. And he told me, said that he will, uh, he will marry me. <laughs> I warned her against this guy because the guy had sent me a text message once, uh, thinking he was sending a text message to uh, one of his girlfriends. And I told her, I said, because when I met him, the first time I told him, I said, look, this girl is involved in a sport which requires her mental state to be absolutely unborn. I told him specifically, and I told her, if you get into a situation that might you know, hinder your performance, please get out of it because this means a whole lot more to you right now than anything else. Build yourself up first, and then later on, you have something to offer a man. Daddy Ali fights his way to fitness and is picked for the African Games in Nigeria, along with Sarah, Hawa, and Lamin. Once again, Sunusi is not invited to travel with his athletes. Instead, they must rely on the veteran national athletics coach, who has held the position for the past 10 years. It is 10 months to the Olympic Games, and Sierra Leone's first chance to run against an electronic timer and try to qualify for Athens. For past months, we did train for this competition. Father, as we do go, Father, may we do the Father, God, pray for any spirit of fear who come against you, but pray for your grace, O God. Hey, God, I'm you very special this morning so that no matter which kind of matter, now we go put it in one. Father, we don't go fear, but we go run inside your name in the name of Jesus. Mm. If we commit to sister the way and now one father go pray, go give them courage, unity, so that they're able to run before God in the name of Jesus. The grace, the grace, the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest with him and love to us, sir. Daddy Ali is competing in the 200 meters alongside his hero, Frankie Fredericks, the world champion and Olympic silver medalist. Daddy Ali finishes third and qualifies for the semi-finals. 
but fails to make the final. Because of his recent attack of malaria, Dade Ali isn't chosen to run in the 100 meters. Lamin is competing instead. He finishes strongly and reaches the semi-finals, but he also fails to qualify for the final. It is pathetic. We are not happy because Sanus is my coach. And also he coached most of us that make up the trip. So if Sanus leave, leave behind, we are not happy. Because the coach that we have do not move along with us. You know, we do things by ourselves. Because when we are together with Sanusi, the instructors tell us what or what to do, what and what not to do. But yeah. this time we do things by ourselves yeah. without any instruction from any coach. You know, this thing is really pathetic. The Sierra Leone women face an even greater struggle. In the first 200 meter heat, Hawa finishes last. <laughs> On beaten in Sierra Leone, Sarah finds herself outclassed, finishing second to last in her heat and failing to qualify for the next round. The women's relay team is Sierra Leone's last chance for success, but they have never raced together and lack any proper coaching. Sierra Leone? Lane six again. He said they gave you a list and you confused the women for men. Who? The, the final call him just down there. The program. Then the announcer. Coach Rhodes also has problems with the times of their races. Coach also uh, told us that we are not going to run the 4x1 uh, the uh, today until Tuesday. So we just inside, we hear the announcement about the 4x100 meters. That's why we'll be annoyed uh, uh, because we did not prepare about the. Announce, 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 announce. The Nigerian Games end in complete failure for the Sierra Leone team. No one has achieved an Olympic qualifying time. Frustrated by the ineptitude of their coach and the corruption of their officials, the athletes return home determined to change the system. Radio Democracy, FM 98.1. Now it's time for Daddy Sage, and as we all know, this is a track loved by everyone. Corruption, Daddy Sage. Officials just take a few athletes and the majority of it comes from their, their relatives. But this has been going on for a number, for a number of years. So now we the athletes feel that it is time to, 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 to stop. They have been in office for the past 10 to 15 years without holding elections. So that's why we, we came up with this proposal, we vote of no confidence and signed by, by each and every athlete. It's just and a reflection of everything that's happening in this country. Let's just count it to be corruption, corruption in all sense. I put a program together. I work on it for like six, seven months. The money eventually turns up and I'm sidelined. That was very painful. I had earmarked certain things for it and uh, those things, when the money was not used for that. So where did the money go? Only God knows. Your guess is as good as mine, and uh, I'm sure eventually they'll let us know where. The athlete's letter prompts a meeting with the Minister of Sports, who accepts the need to elect new officials. We cannot allow this thing to continue. 
you have a president who runs away with money, and he has not, in fact, nobody has, has tried to, 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 to recover that money from him. Nobody has tried to see where he is. That is number one. Now they're complaining of paying dues and not giving receipts. This is wrong. So we are going to make a move now. As a ministry, we cannot allow this thing to continue. It should not be coming from the athletes. It should not. That is the precedent. If we allow athletes to dictate the pace of their session, to say, okay, now we want elections. We said, okay, let us have it. Tomorrow we ask for bigger things. Inside Sports Update, we talk about athletics. We get one of uh, the most improved athletes in uh, this country, Daddy Ali Bangura, with me at the studio. Well, first and foremost, we all happy for this election. They don't care about we. The only two they care about the one with the head is athletics association. They only care about them, them and their family together with their pockets. I'm the best uh, long distance runner in this country. Up to date, I'm here. Up to date, I'm here. They are not helping, helping us in this place. As the director of sport, you can't be able to How long do you want to Please, can you get out of my office? I'm in. I'm in. Sorry. Do you want to stop? Please. No, I'm not saying. Please, please. You are here in your state of this. Please. Against the odds, an election is going to be held. Francis Dove Edwin, the former Olympic sprinter, has just flown in from the United States. I'm considering running for the president because I've just received the nomination. Part of the letter that I received today to come here was that. That's why I'm here for the meeting. We are trying to weed out Mr. Kamar and others, you understand? I wouldn't like to have a confrontation and a fight you understand? Because I know that what they're doing already is right. So basically, I think that they're going in the right direction. You know, these pockets resistance are not necessary. There is that cordiality between Mr. Kamara and Mr. Dobedwin, you understand? There's that cordiality between the two of them. Lord God Almighty, we commit for God, the elected candidate in Jesus' name. My name is Victor Sano, and I rise to nominate Francis Dovedwin. Victor Sano. Thank you. In a, I mean, a drug duping, you understand, in 1994, you understand? So that's what this, I mean, that has already disqualified him from becoming a what? A president, you understand, of this association. Because we all know that if he becomes a president of this association, then that particular name is hanging over him, then of course they will not, they will never respect that particular body, you understand? Jimmy J. Rice, Adelisa, Edwin, Victor Sano, Captain that's not a good thing it isn't good at all it just shows you what type of country we live in the fact that we have a, uh, someone who has been convicted for drugs being president of the association doesn't bode well for the country at all uh, from the IWF uh, standpoint. Um, God help us. Do you see a brighter future for Sierra Leone under your regime? It's like they are saying to themselves, free at last. Thank God we are free at last to just do the sports and play the sports that we want to play. That's a powerful thing. Are we going to see Sierra Leone participate in that Olympic game? Yes, we're going to participate. Um, we have two more competitions, and I can assure you, we're going to bring athletes to that games. Um, and when we take the athlete there, every Sierra Leonean, everywhere, will be proud.
think it's power. Power. It's power. I think uh, being called the president of this SL3 is it's an organization uh, and it's the next step up for an athlete, you know? And that's what I think most of them want, this power. Francis Dov Edwin's power is short-lived. The ousted director of sports writes to the IAAF, questioning his appointment as president. Francis Dov Edwin has a life ban from athletics for drug abuse. This also prevents him from ever holding any official athletics position. The election has been a sham. Three weeks later, Francis Dov Edwin resigns. They've been put through some kind of training that they've never had to go through before. And yes, they, they start to feel things that they never thought they would feel. Drive the shoulders. That's it, come on, use your shoulders, pump, pump. That's it, come on, drive the shoulders, that's it, drive them, come on, that's it. Sometimes when you, when you train, you feel like you're ill afterwards. Yeah, you get that kind of effect, like you're sick. And I tell them, shut up. It's just from the training, you will feel better, and they do. Lord, you think I'm wicked? With a rudderless athletics association, there is no chance for the athletes to compete abroad again. But Sanusi is still aiming for Athens. Come on, Daniel, come on, come on, come on. Huh? Okay. Sorry. Daddy Ali keeps fighting. Stand up, stand up. Fine, all this bone with the bone, so they make your legs. But Sarah begins to falter. She she does well in training, and we we you know we praise her, and then maybe it's getting to her. Maybe she thinks, oh, I can take how many days off and come back and still train well. Shut up. Complain too much. Uh, I don't know if it's a boyfriend or I don't know. I really can't tell. But uh, I think she's becoming a bit too complacent. Start from the last person, though. So, no one start. I was having a problem with my boyfriend, Musa. He said that he don't want to see me. Say so, I have pregnant for him. So that all give me. Mm, discouragement not to train. Sarah said to me that she missed her period and I think it had been like two and a half months back. And I said to her, you've missed your period for, for two and a half months and you did not say anything? And uh, I just got very upset. the pregnancy, I bought it. I decided in my mind now not to keep it anymore. The hospital that I went, they did not do the abortion properly with me. Whilst they were doing it, they punctured her uterus. So because of that, she bled when she came home. admitted to the hospital for about two days. And that was the end of her season. Think that I will, I will not make it in the Olympic Games. I have to train other. When I train another, I prove myself to the track. When it's a, they call competition, if I do well, I came first or second. I know you will be happy again with me. You know that I, I, nothing wrong with me. Hey. 
she came back from that and she was pathetic. She ran a 400 meter race and all the people that she could beat so easily the year before, they all ran better than her. So a whole year had been wasted. In the last race of the season, Sarah is beaten by Hawa for the first time. Daddy Ali wins the 200 meters easily, but only manages to inch ahead of Lamin in the 100 meters. Of the entire bunch, he's, he's the most talented, I believe. He has a very strong will to survive in whatever uh, uh, situation he finds himself in. There are times when I thought he would lose a race and he has won. He's proved that to us uh, times and, uh, time and time again. So he has a very strong character. He's, he believes in his ability and he believes in himself. With six weeks to go, no athlete has achieved an Olympic qualifying time. Good morning, good morning. It is up to a makeshift committee to decide whether anyone should represent Sierra Leone in Athens. Mr. Chairman, we have Daddy Ali, 1075. We have no way of making the standard. That is, for the 100 meters for men, that is 10.2. It's not possible within this short period. So with this argument, I want us all to brainstorm and see where we stand. Thank you very much. If by any chance the country cannot make the standard, they will allow only one man and one woman to represent that country. The person that will run the closest to the Olympic standard should be given the opportunity. These two athletes that might be going to the Olympics, are they the two that have got so far, have got the nearest time closest to the Olympic? Yes. These are the two for male and female? Yes. Now the two names is what uh, the house is, 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 is advocating for. Is that also? Yes. Yes. Endorsed. Mm -hmm. yes. Ladies and gentlemen, for your information, the long-awaited day is come. Technical team of coaches recommended two names. Hawana Tubangura will be representing Sierra Leone in the 100 meters in the Olympic Games. Lamin Toka will be representing the male athletes in the 100 meters too. If Lamin is chosen on the basis of his performance against the electronic timer in Nigeria 11 months ago. Totally, I'm very glad that I'm, I'm selected to, to represent my country in the Olympic Games. I'm very, I'm very happy and I appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. I myself am personally concerned and want to know how we made the selection. When we went to Abuja, the only home, the only home base who qualified in the 100 meter for semi-final was Lamin Toka. If they say that they are going to look for the past record, I believe that I have the best record for right now. You know, I've defeated the man three, three, three times, both in the 100 and the 200 meter. And only one time that the man defeated me in 100 meter, and that particular time, I just came up for Malaria. You know, that was the only time that the man defeated, defeated me in this entire season. Don't give up. Come here. Come, come. You know, many, you know, many that don't be coming at this guy, but I know Bex, but you know, we want to see. Tell me, say, you did this thing because you are the oldest man. My dreams to go to the Olympic Games, but I did not accomplish it, so I did, <laughs> I did not be happy about that. I 
after I bought the baby, where I don't have anything thing to do or I don't have any competition to go, why I should do that again? That makes me to think that way. It is good day, Mr. Turi. It's me, uh, your boy, Daddy Ali, who wrote this short note for you. But before I proceed further, I must first say hello. Uh, Mr. Turi, my purpose of writing you this short note is just to thank you for all the good work that you have done in my life. By this time, I am going to have to leave the athletics uh, arena and find another thing to do, because I am tired with all the frustration that has been given to me. That's why I decided to leave the game of athletics. So don't feel embarrassed, Mr. Turi. Thank you, Daddy Ali. I've had enough of the whole athletics issue because it's, it's painful. I went through the same crap as an athlete and I'm still going through it with the current crop of athletes that we have. We will never go anywhere if we still have these people who their eyes are so closed they can't see uh, what's in front of them Be, uh, running the sport. I mean, do you think there's anything you can do? There's not, I, I, I just don't want to get involved anymore. I've had enough. I've had it up to here with the whole thing. I spent two and a half years struggling to get these guys to, 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 to a certain level. And what they keep on doing, I, I, I sometimes wonder if it's because he trains with me that they're treating him this way. second from last in her heat, only beating the runner from Iraq. She has never returned to Sierra Leone and has stayed illegally in Greece. Lamine also finishes second from last in his heat, but goes home, determined to run again for his country. Sanusi has moved on to try his luck in another country destroyed by war, Liberia. He is setting up an athletics program for the next Olympics in Beijing. Thank you. 